Justin Jamino from DragonBlogger.com here. I'm here showcasing eye cloth cleansing products for electronic devices and screens and phones and whatnot. So eye cloth sent me a bunch of products. Thank you to eye cloth. They sent me various products, including the smaller wipes with the alcohol cleaning wipes for screens. They sent me the lint-free cloths, which don't have any alcohol. They're not wet. They're dry and they're lint-free cloths. And then the larger wipes, which of course are for large keyboards, larger monitors, various displays, and various things like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'll show you how they work. I've got two Kindle Fires here with dirty screens, smudges, I'm putting fingerprints all over them. I got my Chromebook here, putting smudges, fingerprints. I kinda got them all dustied up, so that way I could give a better review on how they work. Obviously, when using any cleaning products, you gotta take care not to scratch the screen, right? So. You don't want to go right, if you have like particles or, you know, particulates or whatever, you don't want to go right to a cleansing cloth because you might erode it and groove it into your monitor screen. So you want to start with, you know, a nice light cloth, a nice light brushing. These are the small cloths. You can see the small cloths are pretty big by themselves. And I'll go ahead and see, I don't know if you can see how dirty this screen is here. I'll try to see there. You can kind of see like how the smears on it right there. You can see that. So I'll go ahead and try this cloth. It's not overly wet, but it's not overly dry. It's definitely moist and damp, and you can see it leaving it a little bit of moisture behind on the screen as I'm wiping here. I'm trying to be delicate, not scraping too hard. I don't want to accidentally, like, you know, maybe erode sand or, or dirt or anything to where it could scratch the screen. And let's shake this off a little bit, do a little more. Wipe one direction, another direction. And see how this one does here. And see how there's a little bit of residue. Let's see how that residue comes, evaporates. And this is their large cleaner, five by seven wipe. You can see all the fingerprint smudges are completely gone. Almost all the dust is completely gone, except for a little bit in the corner here. And again, you might want to do a dry lint-free cloth first before you run the cleanser on it. But mostly, other than a tiny little bit of lint, just a tiny little bit of dust, it definitely removed all the streaks. So that's that one. Then this here is the larger 9 by 12 inch wipe. Open this one up for you right here. This one is rather large. Again, it's wet, like a giant moist towelette, except with alcohol 70%. And this one you would do your monitor or your keyboard and whatnot. Again, I'm only pressing very lightly. I'm not pressing hard, especially not on, not on a touchscreen monitor. Wipe this down real quick here. Obviously, if you don't have a flat keyboard like this and you have raised keys, like mechanical keys, you'll need something to get in between the keys. You could probably just roll this up into like this little, you know, like a little angle here, like a Q-tip mode, and get in between the keys if you need to. Or use a keyboard duster first. So certainly a lot of moisture. I don't have to worry about them being too dry, if anything. Thank you for letting me know my battery life. Appreciate it. 100%. That. All right, thank you. Let me know my volume. Right. Menu, search. Okay, that's what happens with a touch screen. So volume, it's lighter. Let's give it some time to catch up here. Disable Chrome box. You can see it, it actually did a really good Double job. Tap to activate actually clean that screen, honestly. This screen's pretty clean. Had enough liquid. Now, when you have a lot of dust on a screen, obviously with any wipe, the dust gets on the wipe and it could be hard to get all the last of it down, so it might be better in some cases to use two smaller wipes, that way you can start with a clean wipe after getting the first layer of dust off. But overall, that's pretty good, that's pretty clean. That did a good job on that. Let me see, which one didn't I try? I didn't try this one yet. This is the five by seven. And what's the difference in this 5x7 and this 5x7? Curious. This one says for monitors. This one says for cars. Uh, they're both 70%. Let's see. Maybe this one's better for monitors. Let's do this and that one and that one. Try to see the difference between the two. I'm not really seeing it. This one's slightly damper. Oh, I can smell more alcohol content in this one. Definitely more alcohol content in this one. By a little bit. There we go. It's a little damper, maybe a little larger. You can see, took 
all the streaks off right there. Now I buy um, cheap monitor electronic swipes and cloths, and I'll tell you, my son, he'll tell you how much he likes these cloths, because the moment these boxes came, he was just savaging through them, using them up like crazy. They're actually a really good deal. They clean very well, they do a great job. It's good to have one or two in your pocket, you know, to clean your phone, clean your phone screens when you're on the road, things like that. I'm pretty impressed with the eye cloths. They're definitely not the type that dries out. I like that they're individually wrapped. They're nicely sealed. There's enough moisture in them that you don't have to worry about them drying out and it's just not working very well. So these are the eye cloths. I've used them to clean several electronics, keyboards, mice, you know, over and over. My son's used them for his mouse, for his monitor, for his laptop, his Sega laptop. And we've been pretty happy with them so far. So this would be a thumbs up for the eye cloth cleansing products. Thank you for watching.